Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the well, around the 22nd. But you know, the timing is fluid, so we're just gonna see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Hermit reverse, interesting. Yesterday we had the hermit upright, so this is uh, reconnecting, perhaps. Uh, coming out of hiding, perhaps. It's time to socialize. <laughs> Five of coins reversed. This is uh, abandonment. Somebody's been abandoned or they've been neglected or something like that. But, you know, in the reverse, this is relief. Some sort of relief. Seeing some sort of relief. We could have a turning point here. Two of Swords, Three of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands, somebody is overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. They're busy, 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 have a lot on their plate. We got somebody here that is very busy. Now this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This is overwhelmed. Uh, carrying some sort of burden, holding on to something they need to let go of. Uh, held back, blocked emotion. Somebody is blocking something. Torn, torn in two different directions. Unprepared to make a decision and needing to make a decision, needing to make a choice. This is held back for some reason. Somebody is torn, they're torn. They're overwhelmed with a decision that they have to make. There's, this could be a major loss. The five of coins reversed. It could be some sort of major loss. We have somebody here that may be struggling financially. You know, they're struggling with their money. That's why they're holding on to their current situation. There could be fear of rejection. There could be loneliness here. Um, midlife crisis. Somebody may be going through a midlife crisis. They don't want to be alone. They're struggling. I do feel like we have somebody here that is very much struggling. There's a lack of enlightenment here as well. Somebody needs to go within and, and think about things. They need to reflect on their money. They need to reflect on what they're holding on to. I think we have somebody here that is not making a very wise decision by holding on to something. I feel like something that is draining their bank account. They could be dealing with another person that is holding them down, that is weighing them down, especially financially. And this is torn in two different directions. Missing the boat. Somebody is, is missing a boat. They're missing an opportunity that is right in front of them. It's like they can't see the opportunity. And maybe it's because they're not very enlightened. They're not very awakened. They're trying to do too much, trying to prove something. This per Whoever this person is that is being weighed down by probably some sort of partnership or something. Somebody is being weighed down by a situation that is... is not healthy. It's not healthy at all. Um, totally overwhelmed with that Ten of Wands. Somebody has a lot of responsibilities. You know, they're overworked. Trying to, to increase their bank account or their money or whatever. And in the meantime, they're missing an opportunity. This is missing an opportunity, the three of wands reversed. 
It's like the ship is sailing. The ship is sailing. It is. The ship is sailing. We have somebody that is at a crossroads right now and they're in the process of making a decision. Hmm. Ooh, two of cups reversed. This is a separation of some sort from a partnership. This does have to do with some sort of partnership, and it could be with anybody. It could be with a lover, could be with a friend, could be with a coworker, could be with a job. This is a separation. There is a separation here. There's there's uh, blocked emotions. Somebody is trying to do too much. They're too too busy. They have too many responsibilities. They're carrying some heavy weight, carrying some heavy baggage. Somebody has a lot of baggage that they need to let go of. They're being weighed down. And it's time to get out there and socialize. It's time to reconnect. It's time to... Um, it's really time to focus on another path. But we have somebody here that is really struggling to do so. But I do, the Two of Cups in reverse is a separation. It is a broken relationship. Um, an argument, perhaps. An unhappy couple. weighed down by a partnership where there's it doesn't appear that there's love missing the boat somebody is missing the boat in regards to a partnership because I feel like they're dealing with an individual that is so busy does this person seems doesn't seem to see we have somebody here that doesn't seem to see something they don't seem to see that they're throwing something away hmm. anyhow um two of swords is torn this is a painful stressful decision about a partnership it's not going anywhere you know there's nothing coming in Somebody has not been seeing the opportunity. They've been closing their eyes to an opportunity for a partnership or a union or something like that. And now the ship is sailing. The ship is sailing. You know, I feel like the ship is, is sailing. Somebody's ship is sailing away. Justice. Justice is a card of karma. Everything turning out as it should. This is the laws of karma. This is the laws of truth, justice, integrity, decision, a final decision, balance coming, making a balanced, truthful, honest decision based on the truth. So somebody is going to be making a decision. There could be some news of legalities that are coming up. justice in the future somebody's going to be getting exactly what they deserve justice is going to be served oh i just saw this yin and yang sim symbol i never seen it on this card interesting there's some sort of opposition here there's some sort of opposition with this card as well there's opposing forces. I think we have two people that are um, opposing each other in some way. You know, the justice, justice is a card of truth where there's no toleration. There's no toleration for lies. So I do believe that somebody is losing an opportunity for a partnership because of facts. It's fact. 
You know, there's some sort of truth here. So there's some sort of truth that is coming out about a partnership. And it could just be realizing the truth. Judgment reversal. We definitely have some karma here. We do. We have some karma here. We have a poor judgment call. Moving on from a bad choice. Somebody is going to be moving on from a bad choice that they have made. Judgment reversed is uh, not answering the higher call. It is guilty. It is guilty. Somebody may be feeling guilty. There's some sort of guilt here, a lack of acceptance, a lack of acknowledgement, a lack of truth in a partnership, poor judgment call, lack of awakening, unaware, unaware. Somebody is unaware that they are missing an opportunity. They are not very enlightened. They're overworked. They have too many responsibilities. They're not seeing an opportunity. And they're going to lose the opportunity. The opportunity is sailing away. Just like that. Anyhow, justice. That justice in the future is everything turning out as it should. Everything is going to turn out as it should. This is a fair and just decision that is being made. And this decision has to do with the facts, the truth. My stomach. I apologize. I don't know if you heard that. Um, This is a major loss right here, five of coins reverse. We have a major loss. We have an individual that is overwhelmed. They are overwhelmed. They're not being honest. They're, I feel like there's some poor health here as well. We have somebody here that isn't very healthy. Maybe they're in an unhealthy partnership, twos or partnerships. This is unhealthy. Is not listening to the higher call, not listening, making a poor judgment call. We have somebody here who's making a poor judgment call about a partnership, and they need to go. They need to go. It's time to go. It's time to accept the truth. There's some sort of truth that is going to be seen or realized. And it is definitely about a partner. All done thinking about it. Yesterday there was thinking. Today, all done thinking about it. Somebody has made a bad choice about a partnership or a union. And now they're struggling mentally with moving on. <clears throat> page of Wands reverse. Now the Page of Wands reverse is not good news. Okay, it's not. This is bad news or a setback. Somebody that makes excuses, that procrastinates. This is, this is like a failure to launch. We have a partnership that is not growing. There's no spark. There's no passion. There's no desire. This is, uh, oh, I feel like we have a separation here. I do. I feel like we have a separation. I feel like um, we have somebody here that brings everyone down. You know, this is a negative Nelly. This is an individual that um, is indecisive, doesn't know what they want. We have somebody, in, I don't know if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could also be a Scorpio. We also have Libra here. We have Virgo. Um, it could be anybody, though. This is distracted. We have somebody here that is distracted. 
by their by their busyness, you know, by their demands, and they're missing a, an opportunity. And this is a major loss. It is. This is this is somebody that is uh, reluctant to get engaged with a partnership because they're just too busy with other things. Or they may their their finances may not be growing, and they're working too hard, or they're working very hard to uh, increase their their money, you know, and it's affecting their partnership. But this is bad news. This is a setback. The page of wands reversed. This is something that is un or somebody that is unreliable. This is somebody that doesn't follow through. You know, that doesn't really, um, you know, they may say that they're going to do something and they don't show up or they don't show up on time. This is somebody that doesn't follow through. And this is this person that doesn't follow through is about to get exactly what they deserve because I feel like the ship is sailing. They didn't do what they said that they were going to do. Now the fire is being put out. There is a decision that is being made right now. Somebody has made a poor choice in regards to a union or a partnership. They are dealing with an individual that is spiritually immature. This person isn't connected spiritually the way that they could be. There's no love in these cards. There isn't. So a decision is being made to let it go. Let it go. Letting it go. Letting a partnership go. Because it's the right thing to do. Justice. Justice about integrity. It's the right thing to do. I feel like it's a karmic contract. Because we have karmic contract here. I feel like we have somebody here that is letting go of a karmic contract. They made a poor choice. It has weighed them down. It has wasted their time. And I feel like this is goodbye. I do. It's time to socialize and stop hiding from the world and get out there and reconnect. I see reconnection. Reconnection with perhaps society. Seven of coins, now that is investment, perseverance, hard work. This season is over, it's time to go. It is time to, this, there could be a relocation, there could be planting seeds someplace else or seeds that were planted a long time ago coming to fruition. It's time. It's time to go. It's time to go. That's what I want to say. It's really time to go. It's time to get harvest time. Obviously, it's time. It's time. If you see, it's time. It's time to. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to to just, you know, uh, count your blessings and go. I also feel as though we have somebody here that is ready to go. They are ready. They're ready. They've they've gotten all that they can get out of this. They know that it's time to go, and it is time to go. Um, so this is making a painful, stressful decision to separate from a situation where there is no more growth. There's no growth here. The only, the only thing left to do is to travel, to, to go, to relocate. There could be a relocation that is coming. Somebody is also going to be receiving an offer. They're going to be receiving an offer from somebody um, that they do not expect. This is unexpected. You are unprepared. Somebody is unprepared for an offer or an invite or, you know, something like that. 
And it's interesting because I always say with the justice card, there's two sides to every situation. There is, right? There is two sides to every situation. So on one hand, on one side of the scales, we get, we got we got a plaintiff and a defendant, right? Only one person can win. There's a loser and there's a winner, okay? So we have somebody here that is, is losing something. They are. It's because they have too much on their plate. They're too busy. They're not seeing an opportunity. They're losing. They're losing. They made a poor choice, and there's some sort of um, dishonesty here. Somebody made a poor choice in regards to a partnership or a union or whatever. They were choosing not to see an opportunity because they were too focused on everything but the relationship. Now... And whatever, however the relationship is, it could be a friend, lover, whatever, family member, whatever. I do believe that there is another opportunity right here that is being given that is going to be taken. So we have a loss. We have one person that is going to be receiving a golden opportunity for something permanent and long term because they decide to go. This is a decision, decision, and there's been procrastination, there's been uh, indecisiveness, you know what? Done. Done with the indecisiveness. It's time to go. There's no reason to stay in this predicament. It's time to go, especially when you've got another opportunity that is big, that is a golden opportunity, that is something that could lead to long-term success and abundance. This, may, this will grow someplace else there will be growth and where there is more fertile ground so anyway i do believe that we have somebody here that is making a decision to go there could be a relocation here moving making the right decision this is the right decision yes it is the right decision there is no reason to say stay where there is no more growth Stop procrastinating and don't miss the bolt because it's going to be gone. Good luck.